Hey pastors, my name is DJ Chuang and I live here in Aliso Viejo, California and I want to make a free offer to you uh, as someone who's been privileged to be a confidant and a confidential advisor not in the advice giving sense but in the sense of being a sounding board, uh, trusted uh, having confidential conversations where a pastor can be human and unload their burden and share freely, uncensored, raw, and it doesn't go anywhere beyond the person I'm talking with and me that uh, I want to offer that to you pastors who are under tremendous stress in the midst of this coronavirus crisis and global pandemic that um, if I can be of support and offer you a listening year I'm here for you and you can just give me a call or a text at 949-243-7260 uh, you don't have to set an appointment unless you want to um, and I'll just be here to support and listen to you as you need a safe place to rant and vent and unload. And if you want to cry, if you want to let your emotions go, I want to offer you that same place. Uh, you probably don't have that at home. Uh, you probably shouldn't unload all the stress and challenge that you're experiencing at home where you're stuck uh, as I'm stuck but uh, through the wonders of technology and real-time communication whether by a video or phone uh, I believe that we can share our load together and God will help us through the days ahead so I believe in you you're doing important important work on the front lines of um, on the front lines and I just want to make that offer to you genuinely sincerely check my network of people on Facebook or LinkedIn so you can see if I'm legit and it's a free call there's no upsell I'm not a professional counselor but I am someone that is willing to listen and support you empathetically and confidentially so Feel free to give me a call. If I can talk, I'll pick up. If not, please leave a short voicemail or message and then we can connect as soon as possible. Or if you want to schedule, you can do that too. I'll add a link to this tweet. God bless you. Don't despair. We have hope in God and we have hope with each other.